What's up guys, how are you? My name is Herbie Baez with HADD Customs. And here we have a 2023 Cadillac Escalade. I'm gonna show you how to remove the grill from this bad boy, stay tuned. The first thing we're gonna do is open the hood. In order to do that, there is a latch under the steering wheel on the dash somewhere. You know where that's at. This is not a tutorial to take that off. Voila, there's a tab here. You're gonna switch that over, slide it over to the right toward the driver's side of the car with your right hand, with your left hand, go ahead and lift up the hood. Okay, so basically what's happening here is there's gonna be multiple areas that we are going to have to work on in order to successfully remove the grill. We're gonna start with this top panel and then I'm going to look behind the grill and see if there's any areas where it can just be popped out or if I am indeed going to need to remove the front bumper cover. Stay tuned, I'm just gonna have you watch me pull, off, pull this bad boy off and uh, we'll see what's the next step. Okay, we have nine clips around the perimeter of this panel that we need to remove. You're gonna wanna go ahead, use a little nifty tool like this to open up this clip. And then you can use it to pry out the clip. It's gonna look like that. So I've got all the clips out. It's our first attempt to remove this. It appears that there's some type of air dam here, but uh, it's not connected in any kind of way. Just make sure when you go to put this back in, this all plugs into it, okay? But there's your panel there. Go ahead and set that off somewhere nice and safe. Well, the obvious here is that we have six bolts that need to come out from the top. Looking from the back in, I cannot see that there are any other areas that I'll be able to access for the bottom of this grill. It appears that we may have to remove the entire bumper cover, but stay tuned. I'll let you know in just a second. What I've told you in uh, previous videos, if you haven't watched my Dodge video and you don't have a Dodge and you're, not like, you're like, why would I watch that? Um, in that video, I did state that sometimes you can even on the newer cars or exotics, if you look up the part on eBay, you can see behind the part, you can see if there's screws that are supposed to go into it, if it clips in place. Um, I'm going to see if that's the case with this lower molding that goes along the bottom perimeter of the grill and the headlamps. The reason I wanna do that is because it appears that it, it could potentially be covering what are more screws to be able to pull this, this grill off and avoid having to take the entire bumper cover off just to remove the grill. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna use a 10 millimeter bit to remove and extract these bolts. It's important that when you go to put these bolts back in that you do not strip them. I recommend that if you use the drill to pull out the 10 millimeter bolts, you do not use a drill to put them back in until you have first placed each bolt back into the hole and hand tighten until the thread catches the female thread. Once you've worked it in there a little bit and it's free and it doesn't seem like it's caught or it's gonna strip, then you can go ahead and use the drill to um, bring the bolts back into the hole, but make sure you don't just lay on the, the trigger. Once they go in, maybe a click or two with this, the DeWalt drill and you'll be just fine. Now what we're going to do is I'm gonna just go ahead and pull on the grill a little bit. This is my first time, by the way, removing this. So I'm just kind of doing a little test to see if I can see at the bottom of this and if there's any leeway to pull it off. As of right now, while pulling, it feels like everything's intact. It feels like everything's connected to the back of the bumper cover. I still really can't see anything. And so we may learn that this comes off easier or does come off without removing the bumper cover, but I've gone about as far as I'm willing to. At this point, I'm gonna remove the bumper cover off, get a better view of what's going on back there, and then uh, detach the grill from the bumper cover. Looks like my guy Jose is here. Look who just rolled in.
Welcome abroad, I mean aboard. To start removing this bumper cover, we need to first remove the front half of what is called the fender liner. They call it the fender liner because it's lining the inside of what is the fender, for those of you that don't know. So we're gonna be using our Torx 15, our T15 bit to remove the screws from the front section of the fender liner. Here we go. Okay, I think we got that disconnected. Okay, there's something else holding at the bottom here. So at the bottom corner, which I'm gonna show you in a second, there's another screw and it's probably a 10 millimeter. I don't know what it looks like yet, but it feels like it's a bolt. It's probably a 10 millimeter, uh, which I'll confirm when I get down there. That needs to be removed as well to finish separating the, the fender liner from the bumper cover the front section, so here we go. Just as I suspected, it is not a 10 millimeter, it's actually an eight millimeter. Jose, you mind handing me an eight millimeter uh, quick socket, please? It's not. Let's try a quarter, and if that's not that, it's gonna be a seven. The one that's a little bit smaller than this, you got this next one down? Let's try that. And that's too small. Okay, so I'm gonna need the the um, the quarter inch uh, part that's also there, and then back there is gonna be a number seven on the on the toolbox. Thank you, bro. So my prediction was incorrect. It is actually a seven millimeter. First, I thought it was a ten by just feeling for it. Definitely wasn't working out. Then I said to myself, "Oh, that's an eight by eyeballing it." Turns out. On this vehicle, it is a seven millimeter, but I need to confirm that. Jose will have that to me in about 25 minutes. Oh, thank you. It's been a minute. And that is the magical. Whoa, where'd you get this one from? Right on, dude. It's pretty cool looking. <laughs> All right, that's our seven millimeter. We're gonna go ahead and use it to pull out this last bolt. It's going to be this bolt right here, which is in the back corner, and it's holding the fender liner on here. Gucci? Okay. okay, and that should loosen the rest of the fender liner. Okay, up next, you're gonna have a bolt, seven millimeter, again. Same exact screw that was in the, uh, the corner of the fender liner. It sits here in the very corner. There's only one that you're gonna need to pull out, okay? You back it out from here, okay? You can use a wrench and a, and a bit, like so. Back it out, okay? Put this somewhere safe. Then you're going to go ahead and Carefully but firmly pull out of the on the bumper cover like so don't be afraid That whole side comes out. There's nothing else holding in the top except here There's one hole bolt needs to come out completely and then you can pull that out Okay, that's the first step and you're also going to repeat that on the other side <clears throat> Up next It appears that we have a bracket this back here is the back of your lamp, your corner lamp, okay? That's in front of the bumper cover. If you notice here, there's a 10 millimeter bolt that actually taps directly into the housing of the back of this lamp. I'm gonna go ahead and remove that next. There's another bolt that we're gonna need to pull out, which sits right here. There is a bracket that appears to be attached to your real bumper, which is the bumper support. And that bracket is attached to what appears to be connected to your bumper cover. When I go to move the bumper cover, it's very solid, it's not going anywhere. This is probably gonna be playing a, a, another vital role in the attachment of the bumper cover to the rest of the body. Let's go ahead and take it out. We have here, what is the main plug 
to your bumper cover. This most likely attaches all of your sensors, okay? Your parking sensors, as well as uh, your corner lamps. And that looks like that's all, that's about all that's actually plugged into the bumper cover. So we're gonna go ahead and there's a release clip or a clip rather that this whole plug device sits on. We're gonna go ahead and back that out. You just kind of rock it back and forth. You can back that out. What that's gonna do is that's gonna give you some play. That's gonna give you some play so you can actually see what you're doing here, okay? So this is sitting like this. You pull it out. Now you can see the front. This red tab, you see that tab? Push that up till it clicks. Okay, don't press too hard. Otherwise that will back all the way out and you gotta find it and try to re-put it in. This lever is gonna pull out and it's gonna swing downward. So we're gonna kinda release it here from the tab that's holding it in place, okay? And actually all you need to do is press this tab in. See that? And then go ahead and simultaneously pull down on that lever. So we're gonna press, pull. See what happens there? That's now released. And by pulling down this lever, it actually pushes the plug somewhat out of the hole and you help it out from there. And it kind of rock back and forth and that comes unplugged just like so. So that you don't forget, I recommend placing the plug back back in it, in that hole so that you remember that's where it's gotta be mounted. I've seen too many times where this gets plugged back in, it doesn't get plugged back where it's supposed to, and the wire's just sitting there moving around. A couple of things can happen. One, it's a Cadillac. It's meant to be very quiet. It's meant to be a luxury automobile. You might end up running into a situation where you're driving and you hear this vibrating. You're like, where is that coming from? Well, this could be one of those things. You just hear a little knocking when you hit a bump, so on and so forth. Another thing too is you don't want the wiring to wear out over time from too much movement and end up backing, the pins backing out from the plug. So anyway, we put that up there. You'll know at one point or another when you go to install that this has got to go back in and then it should remind you, hey, yeah, let me go ahead and pull this back out. So I've got some leeway, plug it back in and reverse all the steps I showed you how to uh, take it off and then put it back in. Okay, all right, just above that plug, we have this plug here, which is also clipped into the body line with one hand. You can take that out, just kind of rock back and forth. Be nice to it, you'll see we have another plug here, okay? With this one, you're just gonna go ahead and press or pull back on the red tab and just go ahead and pull that plug straight out, okay? Again, to remember where it was, just go ahead and plug it back in place up here. So you can remember to plug it back in when you take it off. Another thing I should mention, we did remove one of the bolts down here. We're also going to remove this bolt here, which, which appears to be attached to the body. Okay. So now that we got everything removed from behind the fender liner, we should be ready to pull this forward a little bit and make sure there's nothing else holding it in place. So remember, there was this here that needed to be pulled out, okay? And then what you're gonna do is kind of fish your fingers probably back to about this corner, okay? And then just kind of carefully pull forward. And now you can see that there's some play here, okay? I recommend going ahead and repeating it to the other side, the steps that you saw on this side. There may not be cables on that side, which if there are, I'll be able to go into that with the video. As of right now, we're gonna go ahead and pull out a bunch of seven millimeter bolts from the bottom to disconnect the bottom from the lower engine cover. Okay, let's see what you got. So along the bottom here, you're gonna have 10 seven millimeter bolts that need to come out, including the one from the corner that we pulled from the fender liner earlier. Okay, so now we're, we should be ready to remove the bumper cover entirely. 
Let's go ahead and see what happens. Jose, go ahead and please hold on to that end. Okay, that's completely off. We're gonna go ahead and set it on here. Okay. Okay, so the first step, what I did notice, which I'm gonna show you in a second, is that we're going to remove this molding first from the bumper cover and from the grill. First things first, we're gonna use a 25 millimeter T25 for that, okay? To take out the bolts that are right behind the molding. And then we're also gonna to need to use a clip remover to remove the rest. There are 10 bolts, okay, that are gonna come out. Now we have to remove these clips. From back here, there's these little slide on clips. I'm gonna go ahead and pull that one out here, one out here, both on top corner. It's gonna press down on a little tab here and then use your other finger to, put, to slide it out. There we go. Easy peasy. It looks like the grill is actually coming out. In order for us to, to completely get it out, we're gonna get, need to go ahead and take out the camera. Camera appears to be in drill, uh, with 25 T25s as well. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and disconnect that from the grill. We're gonna pull the clip out. There's a clip here. Okay, it sits in here. We're gonna pull this clip. I'm gonna get a clip remover, hang on. Now we're gonna pull these clips out carefully. Okay, that one broke. This one should come out a little easier. Let's kind of work it left and right. Comes out no problem. Here's one more here and one more here. Okay, this is your camera wiring. There's one more here, Oop, left and right. Some of these clips are gonna break, it's okay. Just gonna have to go ahead and replace them. My recommendation would be to take these screws that you use for the camera and kind of finger tighten them in back in place so that you don't lose them. You don't have to worry about where they go when you go to wire everything back up. Everything else is pretty self-explanatory. We're gonna go ahead and remove the wire, get all your tools off the grill. And this might actually just come up by itself. Looks like we got a few more clips here. You can use your clip tool to go ahead and disconnect it. That's one, that's two, three, four. There you have it. The grill has been removed, okay? Basically what I'm going to be doing is prepping all of these silver pieces painting it gloss black for the customer and putting it back on. We did need to remove the screws from the back of this molding. I'm actually gonna be blacking out the molding as well. So I'll probably go ahead and remove it from the bumper cover or set the bumper cover the other way and use the bumper cover to hold it in place while wrapping it. Once this is painted, we'll go ahead and put it back on, reverse the steps that you saw to remove the grill and then put the bumper cover back on and it's all set. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share and subscribe.